Hi, my name is Julia Evans, and I will be talking about the IDEA and the IEP process. For a parent, guardian, and student involvement in the IEP process, parents and also students are involved in the review and the development of the IEP. From Bansberg, he says, students will want to voice their rights, speak their mind, and discuss their goals for the future. Parents will be included in on the discussions of testing, services, placement, and others. Referral process, um, a referral process happens when a teacher believes that a student is having a hard time in the classroom. And if this happens, the teacher will contact the school counselor and the parents to schedule a meeting or a conference. Once the meeting has taken place, the teacher will discuss the situation or problems and then they will discuss what will happen next. Um, for the evaluation process, the school district has to obtain a consent form from the parents before an, an evaluation can be done. Once the school has consent from the parents, the student will be tested where the school feels concerned. The results of the test will determine future decisions for that student. Once the evaluation is completely approved, it will be done in 60 days. For eligibility determination, if a student needs special services, they will have an evaluation by specialists and the school psychologist to see if the student has a disability that qualifies qualifies for services. After tests are done and it is determined that the student needs special accommodations, the school will proceed with an IEP meeting. Um, IEP components. An IEP meeting involves a teacher, the student, the SPED teacher, and an administrator who will all come together and discuss what the student needs and the next step to accommodate what the student needs. For IEP documentations, the do these documentations have everything that was discussed in the IEP meeting and any modifications that were decided by the group. Expectations for ongoing communication between the teacher and the school and the parent or guardian to support the de development and achievement of the student. Um, it's very important that the school keeps in touch with parents and guardians for these students because um, the parents need to understand what's happening, what's going on. Um, they need to be have all the same communication with the parents and the school like that's very important so parents know what to expect and they know how to help their child thank you